Welcome back to some more ranked runs of Inkbound. Working my way from Silver 2 up at the moment. So we got more mutators. Well, we've always had mutators, excuse me. Bigger, beefier minions, villains, villains and guardians. Uh, enemies deal more damage. Guardians get more forces, so they get some extra waves at the diamond phases. Um, Creeping Blight does more damage and more difficult challenge buffs. Now this time we are playing the Obelisk. Now I will say I have heard a couple people call this character the Obelisk. Uh, and while I am not a master of the English language, I think it's Obelisk and I'm going to make a little bit of fun of that. But just in good nature. Oh hey, the scribe is gone. Weird. Anyways, uh... Obelisk. So our attacks inflict crushed. After three crushed stacks, we do 50 physical damage and the stacks go away. We have Iron Clap, which is small damage, but you gain a shield on cast. So notice that's not on hit, but on cast. That's a big difference. Um, shield Bash, which is a short dash for high damage, but wide, short, but wide area. And Seismic Slam, which is a full map AOE damage. All right, what does the scribe say? Went to see a friend in Garden's Edge. Oh, I do have to speak to the gardener. Okay. Visit the carver, spend quillings, inflict days or deal critical. Let's do... Cinder spend 750. And for here... Could get more shield on dealing crushed damage gain when shield bleed. This would be good against the bosses. This is also fine against bosses. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. Let's see what we see here. Bigger range. That's actually quite good. But so is you know what? No, we're gonna do bigger range. I like the big, the larger range for that. And I think. We do that. That's some good survivability against bosses. Never ending story is not bad. I don't like that. Ooh, enemies gain a boost. I like this. Uh, it's a good amount of money. I don't usually mind that too much. And this class has a good, a solid amount of defense. Alrighty. Game, you can... Uh, Computer, I mean, you can totally take this. Okay, let's get some money. These common tarnished faults aren't the best. And let's turn this combat into just my damage log. Yeah, I never know what people are going to say, though I'm sure there's a filter. Okay. Click some of that. Let's begin this combat. Right, and so one of the reasons this guy is great, look at that. One attack. And I basically killed everything. Now. I'm just going to do one here. And then run back next to the orb, right? Why take damage when I don't need to? Now this is where you can get in a little bit of trouble. But if I just do like this... Where's that guy? Okay, I want to make sure I'm hitting both of those. Oh, what? I missed. That's unfortunate. I thought I avoided that. Well, or I thought I hit that guy. This is going to give me several shield. I can't get the kill either way. That's put me up to five shield. Well, I took a couple of damage I didn't need to. I'm going to pick up the orb because I can. Well, really one damage, but I'm not too bad. Ooh, physical power. Definitely take the physical power. 
And critical shield, I think. Yeah, we'll take a critical shield. I would have really liked like just a flat damage upgrade to Iron Clap to start with. It's very good. Um hmm, hmm. That's some more AO. I'm just gonna take Shield Wall. We have shield, that can just be the slight bonus I need sometimes to uh push me over from not taking any damage to or from taking damage to not taking any damage. So we'll take it. And we'll see what comes. Yeah, we'll just take out one of these. Bam! That bonus crush damage gained us the kill. Right, so I have two, so if I just move up once. I'm taking eight. I grab this. If I hit here, I, oh, I just kill everything. So yeah, we just do that. Ha. And we just uh, crit kill there and yeah, okay. So we get some good damage going. We'll just take more crit chance because that's actually a DPS increase. And what do we see here? There we go. Hard and Iron Clap plus 10 damage. That'll be useful. And we definitely just want better bindings. Getting that 250 for the better bindings. Still a good idea. Um, nah, let's just do a Colossal Slam. Just more damage in AoE. And I actually like all three of these. Let's get more damage or more shield. I like having shield. This class is good at having shield. You just kind of deal damage and survive. All right, we do my little get the fish, release the fish, grab a potion. We'll try to use a potion this fight. Okay, begin the combat. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna do this right away. And I think... Yeah, this is what I expected. I can kill that guy. Cool. Grab the power orb next turn and see what I can do against you. Then again... I swear that... Covered that dude. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Well, you get away. Um, yeah, that that annoys me a bit. I swear that was over the enemy. Anyways, we're just taking these guys out pretty handedly. Grab some orbs, smash again. And we will grab that fish before I forget about it. More crit damage. Yeah, just go pure DPS. Um, these are both good. Actually, both quite good. So those bar bones is fun. There's a lot of interesting spike stuff you can get, but you do have to get the correct... Uh, fusion or vestiges uh, ascensions that's the word I'm looking at ascensions for them for this these guys but there are some strong spike builds you can do let's do fix braided let's just do more crits we're going on a crit spree at least that's our goal um Gaining a lot of shield, this could just do that. 
Or we just do more range. We'll do more range. Like, the more damage we can do, or the more things we can hit in that case, the more shatters we can get. Ooh, and I, I enjoy invigorate with this guy. Um, Tethered Shrine, the study. We're gonna actually do the shrine. I'm not, I can't, I think you just get a vestige from the study. This one, I'd rather get a uncommon one of those. Potion of power is eight ability power. That's uh, that's a good smash. Okay. So here's what I like about this invigorate. Wow. So we invigorate. Let's do the potion of power as well. There we go. We've taken out most things already. Cool. Oh, I did pick up the wrong one. That's a little bit annoying. We're going to just start crushing things down as much as possible. And we just gained the shield, right? Do a little spike damage. Captor is just such a painful guy to fight, I'll be honest. That is a good shield bash. I'm doing these hits. There we go. To build up that critical stack, we might as well just take that. Not much of a use, unfortunately. Okay. We take out pretty much everything. Let's go back in here. Let's see, I'm taking 13. If I step here, I'm taking five. Let's step over here, take that five, so we're next to the orb for next round. Now, since this is a movement skill, I don't think I take the ink damage. Just something you can do. Okay. I want this other ink to go away. We gain that 10 ability power. 209 is definitely the most amount of damage. We do take a small chunk. We want to make sure we can get the kill. So that does one, that does 90 damage. That doesn't quite kill them, right? So we're going to do one more here. Oh, that does kill. Okay. Cool. I'll take it. Not too bad. Okay, slam. These aren't. Th I want the spike slam. That one's so much fun. Let's just get more crush damage, right? Now I'm pretty sure these stacks. 
Yeah, these are lost at end of combat, unfortunately, but that's still fun. I could also do impulse, so I get two stacks of crush on hit. Um, which is very cool because that's going to be a lot quicker to get my shield up. So now it's every two attacks. Actually, no, I mean, yeah. It's just more shield generation, which is great. Um, but this is just more damage. And I do have the AoE crush as well, right? No, I don't. Well, I do have the damage, but that's just more wipe. Um, we're going to go this one. We're going to go survivability. We have our big AoE damage, so we want survivability. All right, now I can inflict a stack of crush. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do this. Heavy iron clap. That's three stacks of crush I deal with each attack. So this is doing 108 of damage and giving me two shield on an attack. Oh, that is, that is strong. I like that. I like that a lot. Bum, bum, bum. Physical power. Yeah, now it's at 126 for damage. Avenge wood. That's not bad. Pacifism, no way. And bloodbound. Let's do bloodbound. I got the AoE damage, so it shouldn't be too hard to get out of that um, with enemy kills. And then I do have one movement skill at least. Bum bum bum. Let's do superior vaults. We gotta fill out this bar now. Where's my bridge? There it is. Quillings. Oh, more quillings. And we begin to combat. You're hiding underground. What a jerk. So let's just test this out, right? One attack. Three shield, because I just crushed two enemies. Another attack. That's hilarious. Yeah. We do this, now we're at nine. I am really enjoying that. Okay, you popped out, you fool. Oh, don't stand in the damage, please. I want to make sure to get that power orb. We might as well get that spikes and damage shield. All right, we're gonna take two attacks to wipe those guys out. That's doing 12. This is going to get me to... Yeah, this is enough. Bam. Surviving. This is 228. I actually do more damage with this, which is hilarious. Uh, in total. So I guess we just we're just a crusher now. Crush, 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 crush. Uh, ability power. That's gonna increase both of those. <laughs> okay, we take another rune stone sled, and we just yeah, we love it. Let's gain critical charges. Maybe we can crit that impulse on occasion. And we get more bindings. We don't say hi to our friend Ohm. All right, Shatter. Yeah, more ability power. And let's just restore some health. Okay. 
Rare Augment, Heroic Vault. Sounds good to me. Money sounds good. Nothing over here. I don't think I've ever seen anything in these side areas, so I don't know why I keep looking. Bam. Alright. That's actually a little annoying because I killed them in one hit. I didn't gain all the shield. You're doing 13 total? I can do 13 shield. Bam, hey, I got a quest completed. Gain 25 shield. And we're just gonna get out of that damage area. Yeah, I think that's for the best. That way we don't blow up, right? Can I get all three of these little guys? Yeah, I can. We well, want to get out of the explosion once more. Make the worms come to us. Now this is actually good. Jeez, oh, that is a lot of damage over there. I think they are too far apart to hit both at once, unfortunately. We're gonna gain that shield, we're gonna pick up this orb, and where's the least amount of damage I can take? 11, 16, and 11, there's a 6. There's a five. I think, though, if we take this orb, we just knock it out. Okay. Yeah, this is fine here. Oh, those explosions. So now I get a little extra move. And we just smash, smash, smash. Run out? Nope, can't run out. Take a small chunk of damage, whatever. So now we're just to the point where we need us get through these enemies. Jeez, come on. All right, that should kill one. Cool. I can heal two once I pick up this orb. And there we go. Okay. We took a little bit of damage, but we're fine. We're just increasing how much we do. Verdant Blossing, Shocking Spore Cap. Ooh, that's damage reduction. Harbinger's Trophy. Plus three on defeating an enemy with an attack more than double their max. Gain two physical power until end of combat. That is a good amount of damage. Now, if I had gotten the other one that gets plus three per crush, that's probably a lot better. But I kind of like this. More crit chance is fun. Um.
We'll just get a restore HP there. I do need to get another 250 quillings at some point. Game. We're gonna do this one, right? Ooh, that's a strong potion. And... I mean, Tethered Shrine is just like the safety bet, right? So we'll take that. Hey, a fish. We're going to use that fish for the next combat. I want to save this one for the final boss because it is uh, very useful. Magic power. Uh, was that physical, 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 physical? That's not useful. I'm just going to re-roll. I think this one's worth it. Um, since everything's physical, just two physical power is better. I mean, we are now at six ability, five physical. That's pretty good. 26 crit chance, 95 crit damage. Those could be higher. Let's get better vaults again. We are just critting like crazy. I like that. Take you out. And it's going to cost me two either way. Let's just do some AoE damage so we can try to see if we can't kill this guy. Eight health. Oh, that's sad. Almost got this one. We're just going to do all this damage while they're down. I, oh, I can't quite kill. At least not with this damage. Oh, actually, there's an orb right there. Ha. Bam. More crit damage, please. We are critting nearly every other hit, so it's great. I have a quest with this stone blossom. So I'm going to take it. Um... And we might as well set that quest real quick, right? Yeah. I need to get hit 15 times. That's that's manageable. Let's get three stacks of spike. I want to save the rare vestige for now. And then I just need to spend 250 quillings here. That shouldn't be difficult. Yeah. See? I could also get more shield. No, we're just going to take that. Then we can claim rewards. This is not going to give us much. Now, I could get a one-cost shield bash. No, I think we just take the bond. We probably won't use the second ability too often. But that plus one will is another, what, 
162 damage that's growing plus two shield. Oh, I can hit both of them at the same time. Hilarious. Um, like I said, we want to start taking these hits. Start getting our health. Now we're going to take two more hits. Bam, bam. We're up to three. I want to get out of the lava. Please, game. Oh, we want to make sure to keep doing damage here. We're not going to get enough shield to take... Oh, it did. I miscounting. Oh, I do, because I have two of these. I gained three shield to hit. That's right. I knew that. Oh, uh, he's doing a full range attack, so yeah, we'll just take that hit. We're up to four. Would you stop hiding and just come at me, punk? Let's get a little closer. Let's get even closer now. We're gonna put one more hit into you. We take two of those. Yeah, eight of fifteen. Just smash you down. Um, we'll go this side a little bit. I don't really like being in lava, I'll be honest. Alright, can I end my turn somewhere that I don't take a buttload of damage? Let's grab that. Ah, everywhere burns! That's not good. Oh well. Oh, there. Two damage, whatever. Okay, game. I am running out of space here. They just take damage. I am in the freaking lava, you jerks. I would prefer not to be in lava. Okay.
Come on, game. I think this can get a kill, right? Yeah, we just need to take you out. Whew. Man, that was a little bit more annoying than I thought it was going to be. Um, sure. I was hoping for one of those, but I'll take that. Dazed isn't bad. Now I can already inflict some days, so I guess actually we're gonna go for Pine Wall. Restore some HP, that's useful. We only need to get hit four more times to complete that quest that will make things not too horrible for me. Yeah, we can only stand here. Maybe if I hit that guy as well. Ha. Huh. That does 80, 180. That does 190, but this, oh, that has a crit on it, duh. All right, let's just do this so we get everything uh, fully undamaged. I guess we just go here, take two more hits, call it a day. Let's take that wide AOE crit. And we can get behind him, do this attack, which is great. Cool, finish that one. I just have not seen C trickle at all since I've gone this quest. We are taking them out. There we go. Just crushing them on down. Ooh, more crit damage actually is, uh... Right, well, it's only a 26%. So 
So we're taking the ability power, we'll just take the flat damage. And we are definitely taking this Bone Calcifer. Um, yeah, we got this, so we're just going to replace our extra health with a Bone Calcifer. I'm not too worried about that. Inflict days, minus one will cost. Might as well get more dazed action going. Say hi to the carver with my whopping 89 quillions. So we just run through. The only thing I can buy is if there's commons here, right? There isn't. A glass cannon. That would be hilarious. We'll just eat this fish now. We'll save this for later. Now I want to get hit as often as possible as long as I'm not like bleeding out here. So now is pretty good, right? We're just gonna stand in the center here and take all these hits. That's gonna give me a good amount of uh, Bone Calcifer stacks. All right. Bam, 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 bam. Just keeping those stacks, keeping this damage up. We'll take a little bit, that's fine. We'll clear that. Actually, so we can do not. We do that. Then we run here. Click the mushroom. And we just uh, save two rounds. Let's look at our character real quick. We're at 23 physical power. We've gotten 18 from Bone Calcifer. That's ridiculous. I love it. Okay. Well, we might as well pick up this. Let's start working on our defense. Make sure we don't take damage. There we go. Next turn, we'll pick up that power orb and we'll do a Hulk Arms. Pick up both of these. Awesome. I can hit both of them perfectly. How much does this do now? That's over 500 damage. So just focusing on this is honestly my best bet. Wow. One round, we got down, back down to that. That's hilarious. I mean, that 24 stacks of Bone Calcifer definitely helps a little there. This is all fine. Don't think we're gonna. Man, it doesn't matter that we got the orb. And we're just gonna do this. We'll see how much spike damage. Eh, not enough for a kill. That's okay.
And run. Bam. Okay. Well, that was fun. Bum, bum, bum. Get through the screen. Hey, I did it. Okay, so yeah, that was a crushing victory. Uh, okay, I'll stop. Uh, anyways, that was uh, each of my smashes here from Impulse gave me three crushes. Uh, one from my class ability, one from the Impulse ability, one from Heavy Iron Clap. So which means each of these was gaining me one shield, doing its base damage, dealing the extra crush damage, and gaining me two shields from crushing enemies. Um, then I got extra will, I got extra ability power, lots and lots and lots of extra physical power from Bone Calcifer, and we just we destroyed. That was it. That was the end. I will say, though, there are some fun, quick AoE. You clear out, even without that, uh, Seismic Slam. Right, this guy here, especially if you find this ability power guy, uh, this clears out the weak ads, the weak mobs super quickly, and uh, you don't get swarmed too heavily, which is nice. But yeah, that's the end of this run, so thank you for watching and have fun.